Today, we're actually here to talk about something new, something I'm really, both of us, Kego and I, are really excited to talk about. It's a new PvP game, and actually, we've never released, really, sorry, released any new information regarding this until now, so you guys are the first to see anything about this game. So, without further ado, I give you Dragon Ball Legends. It's an all-new title uh, of a uh, mobile app that will be released in 2018. And as you can see on the screen, the gameplay will be in 3D, heavily action-oriented, and also we're pretty excited to talk about it today. We made sure that the details and everything are all fine-tuned so that it's exactly what the Dragon Ball fans wanted on a mobile app. So one of the biggest features that we have for this game, actually, is the global real-time player versus player on cloud network. So let me uh, say that one more time. It's global, it's real-time, and it is actually player versus player. It's, we're not going to muck around with, uh, by providing pseudo experiences of player versus player where players fight other player datas. It's not going to be like that. We'll actually have the players be fighting one-on-one, -on -one, anywhere, anytime. So uh, you know what, to give you a really good idea as to what it'll be like, we're actually gonna have a live demonstration between two points, and uh, point A being here, Moscone Center, where Keigo will be playing against another team member of ours that is currently in Japan, our uh, Tokyo headquarters, actually. So um, I just copy and pasted the Google map, actually, but you, as you can see, there's 5,100 miles apart. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Ayaka, that's one of our team members. And uh, so she's currently in Tokyo right now. The right screen is her uh, mobile app screen. Left screen is Kago's, and I would appreciate it if the audio was played in the background a little bit louder. Yes, thank you. Okay, so the game itself is one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, each player can bring up to three playable characters. The objective of the game is to defeat the opponent's three characters before the opponent all right, and they're both ready. So, uh, thanks to Google's uh, cloud networking, we managed to create a really stable uh, playing field where users don't really need to worry about internet connection, latency, and whatnot. All they need to worry about is the opponent that's going to be in front of them on the screen. All right, it seems like the game connected, and it's still black. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Check. <laughs> so. The game started right now. Left screen is Kago. Uh, he will probably uh, show off some of the cool cutscenes that each character has, but it's heavily action oriented, but in actuality, the controls are quite simple. We made sure that it's intuitive, and we made sure that uh, everybody who wants an action game on Dragon Ball can play other players without having to worry about getting their butt hand handed to them. So, uh, as you can see, the Ayaka just activated her uh, special skill. The four cards that can be seen on the bottom of the screen, those are uh, universal cards that each player has. And whenever you tap them, the character will automatically do an action oriented to that specific card. And each character will have something different. For example, you tap the red card, you can do a melee attack. You tap the yellow card, you can do a long ranged. And the blue one is a special attack. And also, by tapping them consecutively, the character will automatically uh, create combos. So, oh, just like right now, actually. It's a special cutscene right now, and uh, it looks really complex when you first see it, honestly. But, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, see, she had no choice. He's her boss. <laughs> All right, uh, back to the presentation, please. Thank you.